yo yo who's it it's your boy isaac Anzu, back once again here to beat the monkey let's dive right in <laughs> hello monkey monkey Ooh. He is a strong monkey, I remember now. Yeah, we're starting right away. Oof. Uh, the sound might be a little loud. This isn't one of those games that really, uh, relies on sound. Oh, wait, you can jump on his head on that one, can't you? Pretty sure you can. Oh, give me that. Oh, how do you? Ow. Oh, <laughs> so rough. I keep jumping away. That's not, that's not good. Anyway, welcome. Uh. Hmm. Oof, oof, he got me. Hello. So did you know that you can't put the word climax into your uh, stream titles? I had to settle for a conclusion because snap, because apparently climax is a, a dirty word. And I mean, I can't deny that it is a dirty word. Nope, 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 nope. He pooped. Is everybody in the groove? Is everybody in the groove? Well, stick around. We're just warming up, baby. I swear, I will, I will eventually. Oof. I thought I had a good thing going. Did he just do a little victory spin on my corpse? Dude be doing a victory spin on my corpse. Not cool. All right. Hello, monkey. Like. No, no, not the not the. Poop monkey. Uh, like, come on. You can't be the one to tell me that the climax of an arc. Oh, did you see that? We got a little bit of frame damage there. Didn't actually drop any frames, though. I think the the. Uh, OBS thing is working. Yeah, zero drop frames, despite the game kind of staggering. All right. Nope. I know your tricks. Silly monkey. So it's not a no hit run. We kind of do have to just focus on. Yeah, you can jump on him. You kind of just have to focus on not taking damage as much as possible. Because it's that kind of game, I guess.
Yeah, nice. Okay, we love it. We love the big uh, stacker. Yes, you, 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 you try, you try. Ooh, hey, what's up, King Nico? I like the name change. Oh, uh, uh. Isaac, hi, hi, oh. I was so excited to see you that I got grabbed by a monkey. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, no. No poop throwing. Welcome. How are you? How have you been? As you might be able to tell, I have been a little under the weather. Big stagger. Let's go. Let's go. And, uh, no, not again. Okay, well, that sucks. OMG, got the button. Congratulations. You better be taking care of yourself, you buffoon. I actually have been. Uh, I have not been doing my daily routine of stuff. <laughs> oh, hail mighty Sir Isaac. Hoo hoo ha ha. Or was that a monkey noise? <laughs> uh -huh, poisoned. Antidote powder, antidote powder. Where's my antidote powder? I think I used it last time. Do I not have it? Do I have any antidote powder? I really don't. Well, time for the slow death. Or the fast death. Hello. Nico. Hello, Robin. Still battling sickness. I'm doing my best to overcome it. Uh, I feel like I'm almost back. Well, that was horrifying. Sorry, did he just stick his gluteus maximus in your face and proceed to rip one? Now you see why this is my least favorite boss in this entire game. <laughs> it, it's below the game's dignity to do something like have a monkey fart in your face and then throw poop at you. And yet, monkey gonna do it. Why is Dame Dane out of stock? Wait. <laughs> it shouldn't be. I feel so disrespected and I'm not even playing. Uh, I might have turned it off. Let me, let me, let me check this. I might have turned it off because it wasn't working and I got it to work. Wait, no, it's, it should be on. Yeah, it should be on. Yeah, this game, this boss, just absolutely the disrespect, the level of disrespect on this boss. Will you let me heal? Bruh. It's on, but it says out of stock. Is that right? I'll have, to, I'll have to take a look after this fight.
Because it shouldn't be. Hoo hoo ha ha. <laughs> Monkey. Let's see. Reward is temporarily unavailable. Check back for it soon. What the heck? Did I? Oh, right, right. Okay, it should be back now. It's, it was, it was, uh, uh, one of the mod panels. The, <laughs> it was one of the mod panels that I don't normally ever interact with. Like a fool. And I suppose that means you're going to redeem it. <laughs> <laughs> time to time to time to sing for the first time in a week. Nope. It will be a surprise. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's important. Dame Dane. No one expects. The Dame Dane. No, I was too far away. Come back here. We just gotta... We just gotta focus on not taking damage. If we learn if we learn the ways of not taking damage, then eventually we win, right? Because if we do tiny amounts of damage and he does zero, we win that fight. Yeah, not like that. The opposite of that. Let's go, Stagger! No, come on. I, I totally saw the thing. I'm trying to grapple hook onto his face. Ow, gross. Why? This, this monkey. Oof. Okay. The monkey is an intense foe. The level of disrespect this guy throws down, not to be trifled with. back here he's doing the grab oh he got me okay I guess you have to kind of run at him for the grab but yeah I am feeling better my nose is still very uh, stuffy
Sorry, I, th I thought my cat was uh, calling me. Hello, kitty. Isaac, go to Twitter when you get the chance. Uh, okay. After this, after this uh, attempt. Oh my goodness. Monkey. Okay, we can get a hit in. I think we can get two hits in if we bounce off his head, though. Which isn't a guarantee, actually. I wish I wish I could get that monkey head bounce every time. Oof. Okay. When he breaks you on that one, don't man. It really is about not getting hit. See if we can heal. Yes. Mans is quite literally throwing a temper tantrum. Well, you see, I'm going to take away his pretty flower. And apparently that is worth uh, dying for. <laughs> flower. Flower strats. He's got the... Uh, He's trying to do the flower percentage run, and uh, I'm about to ruin his. About to ruin him. Okay, okay. No grabs. Is it jump? Is it jump? Jump out of that thing? I mean, that worked twice. Maybe. I don't remember exactly. Oh, oh. He just wants his pretty flower. Yeah. He doesn't have to be such a, a dick about it, though. Like, we all want the pretty flower. Some of us just want it because it's pretty. Others of us want it because it's, uh, you know, the key to immortal severance. Alright, this whole not taking damage strategy is going pretty well, I think. I gotta keep it up, though. Oh, he's gonna fart. He's gonna fart. I knew it. Oh my god, his poop is gonna kill me. No. The poop almost killed me. So he tried again. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay, got him. But now we have to do phase two with uh, no healing. Nuts. nuts. Thank you for the nuts, Crundle. King Clown Nico, just clowning around. Spinch the boy. <laughs> uh, is... Just, just, uh, 
Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but is clown sodas the new, the new hot thing? Crendle, uh, it's going well. Nice kill. Yeah, uh, thank you, Soul. Although he gonna kill me if uh, we don't pay attention to the fucking screen. Oh wait, he's not dead. He is. He is dead. Uh, I'm sorry, that was only phase one. Better believe. Yeah, he is actually dead. Uh, we are just now fighting the um, the centipede that lives in his midsection. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm not down with what them youngins are into. I like the clown persona. I like Spinch, the, the anti-establishment mascot. We could all use a spinch in our life. I'm just... I know very little about clown, clown culture, clown life. Of course, of course. You want to explain clown culture to me? Ah! Ow! So... The status he's inflicting is called terror, and if you get too much of it, it just kills you. So we don't want that. I, I just learned what cap meant the other day, so I'm pretty outdated. This is one of the things that I actually like about being... You die from being too scared? Oh my god, that was close. Uh, not quite. It's more of like a, a magical terror, right? It's like, uh, oh God, I gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Oh, did not run too quickly. Come on, big guy. So being scared, but magically. Correct. Oh my god, I blocked that, you s silly headless beast. Um, yeah, no, you've got it. <laughs> it's like uh, in One Piece, how they use hockey to kind of like, the Conqueror's hockey is kind of just like tapping into your animal instincts and being like, I could never beat this guy in a million years, so my body is going to stop. <laughs> same, same thing, same thing. That is death. Here's what I've learned from my clown tuber fellows. One, be very silly. Make sure to go hee honk at all times. And three, dismantle the patriarchy. <laughs> and four is to be gay, probably. Are clowns the new um are clowns the new anti-establishment existentialist icon? Silly voices are required for all three. I see, I see. Silly voices not required to be gay. <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> Although I can do silly voices. No, he gonna fart. Ugh, get out of here with your farts. Yeah. This boss is pure disrespect. First, he poops on you and makes you die. Then he screams at you and makes you so scared that you die. Get back here. I wish to attack you.
gosh darn it. I can do silly voices. <laughs> the most popular one seems to be the ooh ooh voice. But I mean, it's such an easy voice to do, right? I really need to work on my uh, Patrick Warburton voice. <laughs> Love that he rips one in our face, but then we rip off his face. Ah, good timing on that. All right, remember the goal here is to uh, not die. I know it's hard, but we've got to try. Speaking of silliness, look at the silly way that I've... <laughs> Whoa! Hi, uh, it's me, Big Isaac. Uh, back here, blocking half of the screen. God, you can't even see my little guy. Look at Sekiro. He is sadly obscured. You can see the monkey. Hi, Big Is. Hi, hi Nico. Um, I really want to work on my Patrick Warburton voice. I feel like I could do it. What's the what's the key phrase? Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Right. Hey, Peter. Is that 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 doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> hey, Peter. That's terrible. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Peter. What you talking about? Oh, okay. So you know Kronk? That. Yeah, I I know. Patrick Warburton only has one voice, and it's incredible. Uh. Oh my gosh, this guy. That but Family Guy. Hey, Peter. Uh, I just want to do Patrick Warburton. Uh, his voice. <laughs> hey, Peter. How do you? Well, you got me. There's. I got no idea. Don't cover up the sign. Oh, the lever crank. You got it. No. Ha, what's? Give me a good. Give me a good uh, Kronk line. Give me a good Kronk line. Iconic. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Right. That's the. That's the meme. That's the meme. Or or, uh, Joe from Family Guy. This dude just rips one. Really. Trying hard not to breathe in the the stank of the monkey. Okay, we've got a decent run here. Oh, wow. Who would have guessed that this passage led outside? That's a, that's a line from the movie. It's a line from the movie. Why am I struggling to uh, come up with lines from this movie? Probably because I'm fighting a massive ape right now. I need your help, chat. I need your help. Give me lines from the hit film, The Emperor's New Groove, spoken by the character, Kronk. <laughs> Go look up on quotes.com or whatever. The Kronk quotes generator. Music is saying sound the alarm, and I think they're right to say that. Ah, uh, hi, 
My run. Nah. <laughs> Let's see. Being silly, dismantling the patriarchy, and going hee honk all the time. <laughs> all right. The poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison especially made to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. <laughs> that, I do love that quote. What a huggable man. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. I I don't know. It's one of those things where I've never sat down and taken the time to practice the line. So even though I know the line, I can hear it in my head. My spinach puffs. Kronk is just so, yes. He, he is a huggable man. Do you think Kronk's a top or bottom? Anyway, uh, clown style. No. Oh. Stop monkeying around. Kronk is a top hands down. What? Okay, we've got some differing opinions in chat. may seem like a bottom, but he's a top. Is he uh, one of those gentle tops? The rare and fabled gentle top? <laughs> Ladies and gentle tops. Wait, that is actually pretty amazing. Did I just come up with something incredible? Did I just die? <laughs> I I was so in awe of my own genius that I may have just died. Incredible. <laughs> By the way, how's the how's the uh <laughs> Dream quality going. It's nice to know that if we ever did a category of game consoles by their level of sexual dominance, the Switch would be really easy to place. No, no grabs, monkey. I grab you. You don't grab me. <laughs> monkey, I can't see when I'm under the rock. Not a fair fight. Okay, stay away from the rock. Got it. That was awful. If we want to do this thing, no death eventually, it's important. You might be saying, Isaac, how the fuck are you going to do this? No death. You can barely do it. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> got to learn the got to learn the patterns of a technique. A American dream. True. And honestly, this is only like our fourth or fifth session of this run. The first time I played Sekiro, we took way longer. I think we actually did an entire stream with just Monkey. Just me and Monkey. Just you and me, Monkey. Monkey. But why? You saved me. But why? Mm. Monkey. How 
I'm glad we're all in agreement that Kronk is a switch. Yeah, probably. Kronk is Kronk is too sensitive to his uh, partner's needs to be anything but a switch. Have you thought about that? Anyone who is like hardcore top or bottom is really just focused on what they need to uh, accomplish in a sexual setting. <laughs> Which, you know, no hate. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get the juices flowing. But switch sounds nice. Sounds like a nice person. He's a, he's a, wait, he, he's a, he's a, he's a switch. Uh, hey, Peter. Is that how you do it? Hey, Peter. Oh, right. The Cusco is poison. The poison for Cusco. Hey, that was nice. More of that, please. Rawr! Come at me. Hey, Peter. Patrick, Patrick Warburg. Hey, hey, Peter. Now that I've changed my name for the fifth time, I feel like a top. Hmm. What if we just do the Dark Souls thing and attack the butt? Stop this silly parrying. Oh God, he gonna throw poop at me. Wait, this is actually good. Why didn't I why didn't I do this before? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, he got me. Okay, wait a minute. This is actually could be a legitimate strategy. We just ignore him attacking us and go around to the back and hit him with the, the old slappy wappy. The old he honk, apparently, as the kids are apparently calling it. Why can't I cut down the tree? I. Oh my god, he immediately throws the poop. So one of the things that I really uh, like about our culture, be looking for a bit, got to be a functional member of society for a second. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. Happens to the best of us. Uh, one of the things that I really like about our society is um, humans like to make uh, funny parody titles for pornography. OMG, um, okay, okay, I have a theory. So when I was like in middle school and even grade school, we played cool math games and all the games. Let's say, run three and all the girls played Papa's Freezeria. Papa's Freezeria? I only learned about that game like last week. <laughs> I did not realize that was such an old game. My indecisive ass liked both, so I played. All of them are cis, but me, 
I'm genderless. That can't be a coincidence. It's true. But it's kind of buying into the myth of gender determinism, where it's like girls like pink, boys like blue, girls like Papa's Freezeria, guys like Run 3. Death. I think I've cracked the code. <laughs> so Papa's Freezeria. I had no idea this game even existed. How old is Papa's Freezeria? Is it an old game? Motherfucker putting me into the rocks again. We well, gotta fight somewhere else, bro. No more fighting near the rocks. Uh huh. And it's poop fart pooping. My goodness. This guy, this guy. <laughs> I like the, I like the posts. I don't know how serious they are, but I like the posts that are like, uh, what is it? Mon little Nas X is turning my child gay. Uh, like, mm, I'm sorry to say this, but as fabulous as little Nas X is, he does not have that power. You get your stinky ass out of my. Am I alive? No. <laughs> There's no way that I could move normally in waist deep water. If D&D has taught me anything. Okie dokie, I'm EP. I have my last day in my outpatient program tomorrow. Have a great Awesome. Good luck with your outpatient program. Uh, I will be on Zarkon's channel tomorrow at this time. So if you see him live, you can still come say hi. I know normally I'm not on that time of week. But we we make exceptions for movie nights with Zarkon. Oh, the death. I I'm I'm the death. Honestly, however long this takes, I'm kind of okay with it. We are we are looking for mastery. We're not looking for instant gratification, right? And the fact that there are cool folks in chat here to keep me company while I do this is honestly the reason why I like streaming. Like I could be just practicing this battle on my own. Whoop, don't mind me, monkey. I meant to uh, hit you in the head with that, but I didn't. Nope. Also, let's, let's move away from the rocks and let's move away from the... Uh... <laughs> He's like, where did he go? Let's move away from the, the deep part of the water too. Uh-huh. Ah. Did I, did I jump off of him? I didn't think I did. 
Ow. The farts. Oh, nice. If you block that one, you can get in a mortal blade. That's sick. Slowly, 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 we're finding all the windows in which to damage the boy. Nice. Not that I think the Mortal Blade does like an insane amount of damage, especially without spirit emblems. But if we can learn to use it and beat him without spirit emblems, then it'll just be easier to beat him with spirit emblems, right? You son of a mid, son of a monkey. Get over here. I am going to beat you to death. He beat me to death. <laughs> I love that beam. We are going to beat you to death. My favorite version of that meme, probably one of the first ones I saw, was from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Not near the rocks, buddy boy. All right. Don't pass up the small opportunities to do damage, even though we're looking for the the big opportunities to do damage. Throw your tantrum. I don't mind. But the most important thing is not to take damage. Like, as you can see, I have taken damage. Gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I'm pretty sure that singing does not invoke the copyright strike gods anymore. I know they say it does. You get back here. Nice. No, stay away from the poo cloud. Can we actually get the timing down so that when he does the uh, swipe, we can get a mortal blade in. That'd be sick. All right. Halfway-ish. Gotta learn when the farts are. God, this... Poor ape has to be so constipated. Like, he just pulls out a boulder-sized poop 
every time. There's got to be so much in there, you know. I'm not saying that he should change his diet. Wait, yes, I am. Absolutely disrespecting me. Uh, that's a maybe, Captain. You come back here. Ah, ouch. Okay. Okay. Man, feels nice. Like it's the recovery, right? Not only am I no longer feeling so sick. Also, my stream is feeling better, too. I'm not skipping frames. We've got the HQ. We've got the HD going. No, no. I don't think there's a way to do a mortal blow there. Over here. Wow. Mortal draw. Oh, the thing the thing that we're going for. is being able to basically fight this guy in my sleep, right? Knowing the timing of all his moves inside now. So that, uh, our strategy really is just get good. Get good at this particular boss fight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Farting monkey fucker. Hmm. How's one supposed to punish that attack? Death by poop? Death by poop? Let's uh just pause for a second. Let's listen to something. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. <laughs> okay. Hey, Peter. Hey, 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 Peter. Hey, hey Peter. Peter. 
Hey, hey Peter. Hey, hey Peter. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. <laughs> it's not even words anymore. It's just a sound. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Ape Eater. Is it me? Ape Eater. Ape Eater. I'm an ape eater. I'm gonna eat your ass, ape. Wait, no, you got a stanky ass. I ain't gonna eat shit. I literally ain't gonna eat shit. You trying to feed me shit, monkey? Maybe I shouldn't say monkey in that tone of voice. Hmm. Ape eater. Whoop. Goodbye. Using the, uh, using the trees to, uh, outmaneuver him is not the most consistent strategy. I don't recommend it. Well, I knocked him off of his part, but we could have gotten more damage in there, Sag. Patrick Warburton. Ladies and gentlemen, why does this music sound so like, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Warburton? Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Just practicing my ape eater. Hey, Peter. All right, I think we got, I think we're consistently getting to about this halfway point. Yeah, no. Okay. He has a limited recovery window after that move. Run, 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 run. Ow. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Oh, but if I, if I, if I time it right, I can actually get a full double in. That's nice. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Run! Ah, oh, nice. Okay, okay. He keeps doing this move that has a huge, uh, um, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, uh, after window refraction period. Yeah, except now he didn't do the move or uh, now I got caught in the move. Try to get him. Look at that. So close. So close. 
Ah. Monkey got me again. Hey, 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 Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. It's me, Ape Eater. I'm the Ape Eater. <laughs> Ape Peter. Yes, yes. Smack. It's gotten to the point where I know. I recognize the power of his butt. I've acknowledged it. And I have an almost second sense for the inner workings of this gastronomical system. Wop. Smack, smack. Just make sure my uh, stamina thing goes down. Stamina. Stance. Remember, there's no stamina in this game. And ooby dooby doo. He sat up. Back to being useless potato person again. Oh, welcome. Any progress? <laughs> no. <laughs> I could have revived there, but we didn't have any healing left, so. Hmm. Ugh. Yeah. First run the hardest, of course. Look at how he looks at you. This man needs to work on his image. He's a very God of War style ape, isn't he? With the, the sword and the red thing on his head, right? This is, this is, uh, the lore equivalent of Kratos. I don't think that's actually all that wrong. Is this monkey like supposedly just like super powerful in the lore? I don't know. What's what's the Sekiro lore? The Sekiro lore is just about killing a bunch of monkeys that just happen to be in your way. Smack, smack, smack. Okay, that's a good, that's a good move to punish. If he goes for that move, I think we can get him good. Oh, he would have farted there if I was in range, but I wasn't. Got him. Get away from those rocks. We bait out the fart. Why why can I why can I dodge that sometimes but not others? I got too close. I got too close. I got too close. Does suffering count as lore? I don't think so. How does this poop? How does this poop hit me half the time? Lore is what happens in between the suffering, don't you know? Which is actually a pretty true statement for all media. If suffering equates to character development, then lore is kind of like external stuff, right? 
Ooh, boy, he is making me angry with this poop. It ain't my fault that I'm out here getting pooped. Gotta blame it on the, the juice. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. We are going to die. But let's see how long we can go without getting hit at all. <laughs> Three seconds. You will have to improve your time. Hello. Three seconds. Not very good time. Eh, I mean, might as well just keep going, right? Get away from the rock wall, you silly, stinky boy. So I actually had a, on the topic we were talking about earlier, since you just came back, I actually had a roommate in college who was legitimately like trying to be a clown and not in the, in the clown sense of like, oh my God, my roommate is such a clown. This monkey just poisoned me. Why? Death. I've had a lot of clown roommates, but, but this guy was legitimately, they wanted to be a clown. Yes. Um, he did unicycling and juggling and balloon animals. And it's like, okay, I guess clown core, right? The guys and the clowns. And apparently there is a whole faction. Honestly, that's pretty sick. I mean, looking back on it, I have no problems. Like, dude wanted to improve himself towards a particular career. Oh, get treed. Oh my gosh, he got treed. Yeah, I got no problem with self improvement, even if it's on silly things like. Who am I? Who am I to talk? I'm here playing a video game and trying to get better at fighting a silly monkey boss. Look at this silly boy. He just he's just here to share his poop with me and I'm trying to kill him. <laughs> you got to have a goal in life. It's true. And there have to be clowns in the world. Like, who am I to say that this guy shouldn't be a clown? Who are we to judge? Yeah, that said, uh, we didn't really get along all that well. Um, it's probably because uh, I started dating the girl that he broke up with halfway through our first year of college. But, you know, <laughs> you know how it is, you know, just uh, normal roommate stuff. Uh, 
No, he had every right to hate me. <laughs> yep, I'll do it. <sighs> but yeah, I used to be on this cycle where I would Oh my gosh, come back here. I basically every single person I dated was always for a year and a half. Why a year and a half? I don't know. Maybe that's just how long it took me to figure out if like this person was right for me. But see, I knew that that wasn't even true because there were a bunch of those relationships where I knew earlier than that. And here's a pro tip for you. Uh, don't date people who tell you that they feel okay going off their meds because they're dating you. Don't do that. Uh, it will only end in tears. I had like three girlfriends in a row who were oh like, no. I'm, I'm, I don't need my medication. Cause we are in love. I'm just going to die. Ikumino. Hello. You caught me at a bad time. I just died to monkey poop. I had a roommate a few years back. Worked with a girl he was crushing on, found out she was into me. He was not happy. Man, that's just life, though. Love is a powerful drug, but take your damn meds. <laughs> now, hilariously, when I met my wife, she was not taking any meds. And... Um, I was like, oh, finally, a normal, <laughs> a, a non-medicated girl. I shouldn't say normal because, you know, we live in a collapsing society, so maybe taking medication is normal. Uh, taking drugs to combat, you know, the the lack of purpose in our lives. Let me, let me attach my grappling hook to your face, please. You, what? Stop being near the rocks. I hate the rocks. Um, but wouldn't you know it, uh, my wife had undiagnosed uh, ADHD and uh, not autism, anxiety. And so now she takes a ton of drugs. I'm like, just never say you're not going to take your drugs. <laughs> she knows, she knows my, my backstory. Also, Ikumino, how are you? We are no longer dying to monkey poop, which is honestly just a brilliant and uh, magical time. Mm. Uh, this boy. He's so strong. What? No, not where I wanted to go. Sometimes this game, I swear. Don't fart on me. Uh... But yes, my clown, my literal clown roommate. I, I I can I can, in retrospect, respect the guy, and I would totally understand if he never wanted to see my face again. That's just how how life goes, right? Same thing. Same thing with the uh, finding out finding out that the person you're crushing on isn't crushing on you, right? Oh no. 
That's a death. <laughs> it's life. Yeah, you can't control the uh, outcomes of other people. You can't control the emotions, the feelings of other people. You can be in situations where people legitimately wrong you, but <laughs> not being liked back is definitely a situation where that person is in the right. Okay. To be honest, I wasn't interested at all in this chick. Probably didn't help either. Ah. Uh, so it was a two. It was it was a, a two bad situations, eh? It was a. Uh, oh, I'm alive. How am I alive? I'm not alive. Not anymore. Oh, my corpse. <laughs> ah, the old anti-love triangle. We call that tragedy. Now, it would be a true anti-love triangle if you were into your friend and he was not reciprocating. But if you don't swing that way, then uh, it wouldn't happen. Where? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ouch. No. Nah. Poop too strong. We've got to find the true anti love triangle where three people are all into each other, but not into the person that they're being uh, crushed on by, right? Which I believe is the plot to um, Jean Paul Sartre's No Exit, right? It's one of the subplots in the uh, story. Is that because of the various sexualities in the trio of people, the trio of main characters, they're all frustrated by the lack of attention that they're getting from each other? Get treed. Have you read No Exit? Have you seen No Exit performed? It's quite a good little play. It's about three people in a hotel room and uh, they can't get out of the hotel room. Um, and the only memory they have is the memory of them dying. So they assume that they are in some sort of afterlife, right? Stop breaking the trees. I'm using them. Unfortunately, as they come to talk to each other, they realize that they all hate each other. Just things about each other are completely like opposites. Right. And they come to realize that this room they're in is actually hell. It's their punishment. We're living wicked lives or whatever. That they have to be put in a room with the two people who they're like scientifically proven to be the worst match for, right? And there's there's some elements of romance in there, like there's a straight guy, a gay guy, and a lesbian, right? I'm pretty sure. And like the straight guy is into the lesbian, the lesbian is not into anyone, and the gay guy is into the straight guy. Just awful. <laughs> Come on, do your run up, do your run up. Mother. And so they hate each other so much that even when the hotel room door unlocks, 
they can't bring themselves to leave because it would uh, kind of give of an unearned victory to the person, to the other two people who may have grown to hate, right? And so they choose to all stay in the hotel room, just torturing each other uh, for eternity. Is it in book form? Plays don't happen here often. Uh, it is a play. Uh, you could read it. But yeah. If you're in a town with a low theater population, it is hard to get those kind of uh, performances going. Um, he farted. Wouldn't be the full experience. True, but what can you do? If you don't have uh, a playwright or a theater group, huh, I mean, you could always start a theater group. I actually, oh, so one of the things that I want to do on stream is I do actually want to read, uh, do like a table read. Maybe we could do no exit. It's not that long. Like you wouldn't want to do a Shakespeare play, right? Because a Shakespeare play has tons of characters and are generally very long and need to be cut down. Like you've probably, even if you've seen a Shakespeare play, you've probably never seen a full Shakespeare play just because they take so long to, to do. I know I'm about to jinx myself here, but we are on a no damage run so far. I played the sun in high school and I was very enthusiastic. Oh, well, my dude, if you like theater, get into it. Uh, remind me, are you a, are you a streamer? I, uh, no damage run over. No, I'm not, but I'm a fan of playing it. <laughs> Fair. Why was not I able to hit him in that moment? Okay. So you can just block the poop if you're okay with taking a little bit of poison. Watching theater is more my thing. Uh, there are probably also renditions of it on YouTube. But yeah, it would be cool to get a table read going, like a legitimate table read of a of a play. On, on Twitch, but you'd have to do something like Shakespeare. I guess you could, there is a ton of Greek plays that you could totally do. Drink, drink. Shakespeare could be done in parts. Hmm. True. It would be a pretty massive collaboration effort, though. I would want to. Hmm. Well, the other thing is like. I feel like the ideal length for the stream would be a few hours. You need a lot of people. Yeah. It would have to be like a multi person, multi thing collab. Like, even if you did one act of a Shakespeare play, 
That would probably be two hours. Considering, like, introducing everyone, going and assigning characters. And then there's organizing times. So, yes. I actually had a... Oh, look at that. So close to being poisoned, but managed to evade it. So when I was in college, I had a D&D &D group. Most consistent D&D &D group I've ever been in. Everybody was on time. Everybody was there every single week. How did it happen? Well, the, the group was well established and everyone in the group knew that all of Sunday evening was game night. So it, there was no there was there was no specific time. There was like a call time that they posted every week, sometimes earlier, sometimes later, but no specific time. It was every Sunday night, no matter what. And so people were consistent in the group because they knew that no matter what they were doing, it couldn't be on Sunday night. Sunday night was for gaming. So essentially what you had is this idea of a preemptive time slot, right? The time slot is already taken. And I think you can do something similar with streaming. Of course, it's nice to meet people who you really get along with. Uh, but I think it's even better to get to know and make friends with the people who are in your time slot. And if you don't have a consistent time slot, you should, right? Because the people who watch you want to are have their leisure time at a specific time of the day, whether they're at work or in school or uh, what have you. And if you want consistent viewers, you need a consistent time block. This is some spooky little music, isn't it? Sounds like spooky Celeste. I love Celeste, man. Celeste was such a good game. Um, what's funny is there's a musical instrument called the Celeste that is spelled the same as Celeste the game. Oh, come on, we're so close. Look at Monkey's HP bar. Come on, Monkey. Oof. Of course, once we beat Monkey, we've got to learn how to beat Headless Monkey. All right, no choking. No choking at the end. There we go. Get him. <sighs> so 
So really what I would want to do is find the people who stream it around my time and then just say, hey, for the next few streams, would you mind? You know, joining me on a uh, on a little Shakespearean adventure. Consistency is key with anything. I agree. I I have a saying that I've been sticking to recently, and it's the number of days you do something is more important than the number of hours you do something like if you do something for three hours right that's a lot of effort put in right but let's say instead you did something for five minutes for 60 days right Same amount of time. A total of three hours. But the fact that you're doing it every day for 60 days means that over time, your brain is adjusting to doing that thing. You're, you're having the habit forming, right? So it honestly doesn't matter. Do one minute a day, right? The goal is to just do it every day consistently. Oh boy, this terror is going to get me. Can't do 10 push-ups once and expect results. I know. I've actually... Um, see, the monkey business is still going strong. We're getting better at the first half of the fight. Just got to... Uh, just gotta gotta learn this guy i just subscribed to a new youtube channel i don't know if he has a twitch account otherwise i would shout him out but the youtube channel is called um movement by david and it's this guy talking about how he is a bodybuilder but not a bodybuilder for looks he's a bodybuilder for functionality and he does all these yo, like isaac, drop the beat. oh yo isaac drop the beat okay do we have a good beat we have a decent beat i'm about to get pooped but Let's go, monkey on the flow. If we gotta beat an ape, then we know where to go. We're fighting with our sword, and it's nice to fight with the being that is covered in lice. If you want to face the ape, you gotta get on your floor and eat a grape. Don't get poisoned by his poop attack. It will hit you in the back, and it'll totally be whack. His fart cloud fills the air with gas, and if you know how to beat it, you can kick his ass. But if you're gonna fight him, you've gotta get started on number one, snapping into a Slim Jim. That's... <laughs> uh, he does kind of look like he's snapping into a Slim Jim, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the clip. I think the clip command is a little bit broken right now. I've got to test it out. Oh, no, it worked. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I might have to. Oh, OK, I think I know. I think I know how to maybe fix the clip command. Nah, see, that, that, that ain't going to fly. See, we're getting better. We're getting better at reading his attacks. Just need to get that run. 
you know, the God run. In the face of the monkey, he's a disgrace. Can't even find a time or a place to figure out how to beat this ape. I'm running wild like a child in my own place. Getting defeated. But every day I'm fighting, trying to be the number one ape killer. Monkey business, what a thriller. This guy thinks he's got the moves, but all he ever does is slap and poop. If I was better, I could beat him without even breaking a sweater, which would be quite difficult, even if I wasn't that bad at it. We've got a little, a little uh, musical break here. What was I talking about earlier? Movement by David, it's the greatest. Can't figure out how he gets his abs in shape, but he says how, so guess I'm gonna be doing those exercises now. Every day, a little bit of effort, make it the best I can do until I can move like David can move. And hey, maybe this is not an indictment, but if I can find what the right site meant. <laughs> Go simulator 450, that's true. You see, I am a chimera. And being a chimera, I am part lion, part goat, part dragon. And when we got to 350, we played Stray, which is like a cat game, right? So it's like being a lion. I gotta stop going for the Mortal Blade after he does a swipe. So I think at 550, we will uh, try for some kind of dragon game. This monkey does. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. He's the God of War monkey. I think the I think the uh, actual way you would say that verb is struck. It just struck me. English is weird. Um, yeah, this is definitely the Kratos monkey. S truck me. <laughs> That's one of the problems that I have in German is I like using idioms. I like using flowery language. I like cool phrases. And in German, I only know one phrase for one thing, right? I guess that means I should memorize some German idioms. That's probably a good idea. I know ones. Ins corn, uh, die flinte ins corn gewerfen. Literally, it means to throw your rifle into the cornfield. Okay. But the uh, 
the idiomatic meaning is to um, uh, bail on the last minute on someone. Oh, absolute sag. Look at that. One HP left on this monkey. We could have gotten more practice in the second phase. You might be asking, who's the monk and who's the old man in the title? It's me. Well, Sekiro is an old man. Like, for real. He's, go he's got the gray hair. He's the old shinobi. Yo. I take issue with that. Let us fight away from the rocks, please. Um, but the monk is the other boss that we need to fight right now and who we're not fighting because, um, you know, we're fighting the monkey first. Okay, I can't help myself anymore. First phase, maybe do... Cook defense? Go full offense at monkey's back from the start. open ground. What do you mean by uh, hook defense? I'm curious. We gotta we gotta check out how the the pros do this fight. Ah first phase maybe too much defense. Yeah, I mean the game th this game does reward you for going full offensive. But in order to go full offensive, you kinda need to know the move set really well. What I'm saying is I'm I'm kind of taking my time and learning the move set. This isn't necessarily about beating it first try. This is about learning. What is this music? Uh, 
I like it though. I guess it's called Move by Faith to Power. Yeah, see if I if I try too directly to get behind him, I start to I start to take damage because I'm not reading his attacks as well. from the wall, away from the wall. <laughs> Robin smacks his head, looks at the screen, nods like Tom Hanks. Does Tom Hanks nod? Is that a thing Tom Hanks does? What's the Tom Hanks nod? a bucket of popcorn and raise a glass of coke to the screen that's all we can do saving private my rye moment oh right 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 that is one of those movies that i never actually watched uh i just learned about it through the memes Let's try. Let's try the mortal blade with the the things. Shall we? You gotta be joking me. You haven't seen Saving Private Ryan? I mean, I hear it's a good movie. do be doing more damage. Ah, wasted. With the uh, with the spirit emblems, we got to halfway really easily. So maybe that is the way. Actually, use all the, the tools at my disposal. Yeah, really insanely good damage. Away from the rocks.
One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. There we go. Imagine that, using spirit emblems. Actually doing good work. Um, I do want to try this, this full of ash stuff as an alternative to the Shinobi Firecracker. Oh, oh yo. Wonderful. Seven the Vampire, hashtag justice. Ooh, Legend of Heroes, Trails from Zero. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Welcome, Raiders. Uh, my name is Isaac Anzu, Chimera VTuber, on late, as usual. Uh, we are chilling tonight, hanging out and trying to beat up a monkey. He doesn't look like much of a monkey anymore, does he? Well, that's because we're trying to kill now the... Uh... Ouch. I'm just dying, aren't I? Ah! Hey, Seven. How are you? How was your stream? Where? I gotta see how the uh, the speedrunner guy does this because I'm pretty sure he doesn't choose this one. And he does cheese some of the bosses, but we don't want to do cheesy strats. We want to do effective strats. Ah, a little bit, a little bit too, too early there, I think. Okay, let's, um, still on? You still on? Okay. There we go. Um, let me just do something real quick. I want to. Ah, there's the music. Hello, music. All right, I'll have to I'll have to look into that. Much, much, salt, salt, shake, shake, much, much. <laughs> Gotta write down my stuff. Um, all right. Let's, uh, hmm.
No, we want a window capture. That works. That works. Uh, kind of. Not that big. Not that big. All right. Let's look at uh, was it? The no hit speed run. So I've always been more of a speedrunner than a challenge runner. But I thought I'd give a no hit run. No, 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 no listening. We don't want to. We don't want to invoke the wrath of the copyright gods. Let's find monkey. Okay. Oh, he's got he's got the the sugar on. That was so fast. Holy crap. So he's not just using spirit emblems, he's using uh, Yashiniku's sugar as well. Okay. so fast. All right. We have a Yash Yashiriku's sugar. I guess let's try it. This stuff's dangerous, though. Cuts your life total in half. And he actually goes for the, uh, he actually goes for the, what's it called? The posture kill, which I mean is faster, makes sense. Not cool. Don't un don't un uh target lock me, please. Good 
got. Okay. Well, that was faster, huh? I'm just a button press away from buying the game. This game? <laughs> I mean, do what you like. It's a good game. sugar is gone. My healing is gone. My uh, I don't have the purple I don't have the purple uh, gourd so I can't really effectively get rid of this terror. pellets uh, unfortunately we are out of pellets we're pretty much out of everything take that you dumbo Obviously, with spirit emblems and the sugars, this guy becomes a lot easier. We won't always have... Oh my god, hi. Hidge! <laughs> Run them pockets! It's me, I'm a pocket. Because I'm a fan of Pinch the Raccoon. Oh, what's up? Uh, let's see. Melody, Irisu, Drake... How's it going, everyone? Uh, welcome to Monkey. I'm not dead. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How's it going? Uh, how's Sekiro going? Well, uh, you might not be able to tell from um, this exact moment, but I'm working on a no death run. <laughs> As a notable Sekiro and Neo enjoyer, how's the stream tonight? Yeah. Uh, we are on our very first attempt, and boy, there's been a lot of death. I haven't been even keeping track because it's just kind of a research phase, you know? But... The research I've determined is that the monkey is easier when you use uh, spirit emblems and uh power increasing sugars and i am out of both of those because <laughs> i've died so much uh but how is your stream i missed my own message uh what were you playing tonight oh wait Did i actually see you on earlier what were you playing Wind Waker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're working your way through that. Very good. It's been going well. That game is so pretty. The music, too. Um, I always wanted to figure out how to do that kind of cell shading on a live 3D model. You know what I'm saying? 
immaculate vibes. Because that, to me, you look at... Oh my god, he smacked me right out of the air. You look at shows like Beastars and uh, Dragon Stampede, and you can see the direction that we should be taking 3D models to make them look animated, right? Drawn, if you will. And it's all cell shading. And so I don't know if you'd have to like load the model up into Unity or something like that, probably, right? Unity is Unity is everything. Unity is love. Unity is life. Except the company that makes it is kind of shit. So what can you do? All companies that make things are kind of shit. Are you listening, Jeff Bezos? Which is shit. I actually had a friend, a uh, VTuber friend, switch over to YouTube recently. And like, more power to you if that's what you want to do. But you really do have to be on the uh, video production side of things, I think, on YouTube right now. The live stream. Uh, discoverability is not the best. Ugh. But yes, we're playing some Sekiro. We're doing some, excuse me, we're doing some monkey business and trying to recover from this illness. I'm pretty sure I just had a bad case of allergies that opened me up to like acute bronchitis or something like that. But you know what? We do what we must because we can. <laughs> they got your ass in guard break. That is a very good way to put that. But, uh, Pinch, tell me a life lesson or philosophy that you learned from playing Wind Waker. Excuse me, sir. He about to poop. He's going to poop. It ain't my fault that I'm out here getting loose. Sekiro is chalked to the brim with life philosophies. We were talking about the idea of perseverance earlier, that it's important to do things. The number of days you do something is more important than the number of hours you do something. I have actually, I haven't actually played Wind Waker. I just know that one video uh, by the Norwegian guy where he plays Wind Waker music on the little pots and pans and stuff. Great tune. What's the story about? You get out of here with your poop. See, we're getting better at fighting the monkey. The problem is that the monkey's got two phases. And monkey phase two is, uh, I wouldn't say it's harder. It's probably actually easier. It's just getting through this health bar twice is uh, quite the task. an ambulance, but not for me. Take that. Yeah, you do your little roll grab. I don't mind in the slightest. Honestly, though, 
What's a good video game story? So far, Wind Waker has been very rhetorical about courage and how anyone can rise to become a legend. Link is consist constantly underestimated, kind of just kind of, There's no way you can be close to your title. It's used. Link displays courage in a really practical, measured kind of way. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this actually uh, speaks to a point that I've been thinking about recently. Um, the idea that if a solution isn't implementable, it's not really a solution. I'm gonna... Let me, let me smack you a little bit. We are very out of healing. I guess I can eat the rice. Um, nom, 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 nom. This will help a little bit. So becoming more than the sum of your parts to having the courage to do more than your means is kind of what I'm reading in Waker. I like it. I like it. A very, a very uh, wholesome sort of message. Hit me with your big shot. There we go. And now I get to hit you with my big shot. Ah, uh, come back. But people, people be complaining about parts of society that are like, okay, well, we're back to square zero. We're not very close to killing him and we're low on health. Very feel good, feels goofy and nice. The way only Zelda can. Ironically, I struggle with that kind of media. And I know, I know, my entire style is like chill. <laughs> but I really like challenging media. I like to think. I like to be thoughtful. What if I... I guess your gas is bigger than my gas, huh? This is just embarrassing. Death by poop. I'll take it. <laughs> It's so nice to see people in here. It's not a matter of numbers. It's just a matter of, you know, having some company while I die over and over to the ape. Getting distracted from killing the ape. Smacking. Let's uh let's go let's go try the other boss. <laughs> I need to shake it up. I can feel myself slipping. There's two bosses that we have to beat. Uh literally the final two bosses of um these areas. Like all we have to do is collect what's behind each of these dudes, the monk and the monkey. And then, yeah, and then we're good. Then we're golden. Let's go Mibu Village. Run, run, run. Do the ninja run. It is a pretty game, isn't it? I mean, we're in a very gray section. But even this has kind of a, a charm to it, you know? I enjoy the really sort of gray and unforgiving narratives as well. I think it's important to look into other stories with their own means of inspiring the reader to help broaden the horizons of what can be comparable in this way. Berserk holds weight because something like Wind Waker exists, ultimately. Hmm.
True. I agree with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die to this guy a few times, I guess. Um, but isn't it also true that each challenge we face, okay, that was an easy Makiri counter that I missed. Each challenge we face uh, is relative to the other challenges in our lives. And thus, do we uh, face each challenge individually? It's not like Berserk and Wind Waker are on opposite sets of the spectrum. Like, in the end, it is still about a protagonist fighting for something they believe is correct. It's more about the tropes of the genre, the stakes given to a particular narrative, right? The hero's journey, as it will, as it were, is ultimately the same. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry if I kill this guy in like two attempts after fighting the monkey for like three hours. <laughs> Excuse me. In the end, Guts is the good guy and Griffith is the bad guy. Just like Link is the good guy and Ganon is the bad guy. No matter how hot he is in Tears of the Kingdom. I I I I don't even uh know the plot of that game. All right, wait, are you playing Wind Waker because everybody else is playing Tears of the Kingdom and you're getting in on the uh the adjacent the adjacent uh, streamer value. That's pretty funny, if that were true. See, nobody's nobody's uh, playing Sekiro. Nobody's excited about Sekiro 2. I'm missing out on streamer value by playing this game that I said I would play. No! It's not a jump, it's a dodge. Hello. Just don't get hit. Just stop getting hit. Thank you. Oh, I forgot the follow up on that bad boy. The way the stories contrast is an execution and what they choose to do to me. So I think we agree on this. OK, yeah. I'm, I'm more saying that the intensity of the story is brought about by the tropes of the story and not so much the narrative structure. <laughs> Playing Wind Waker because Talked came out and suddenly had a real hankering for Wind Waker after listening to some of the music. Totally legitimate and understandable. Um... You are a music person, and I really appreciate that. Get jumped on. Get jumped on. Um, 
tropes do contribute heavily to that execution. Absolutely. Well, but tr saying tropes contribute to the uh, narrative of a story is saying, like, words contribute to the meaning of a sentence. Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> If you're defining a word as a meaning, as a unit of meaning, then of course a unit of meaning will contribute to the overall meaning. <laughs> um, yeah, trips, trips do augment the narrative. But I think. I think that uh, just calling attention that we're kind of talking fingers and thumbs here. Yes, yes. Well, I think the more interesting idea is that these narrative structures are compelling in perhaps different ways because of the trope, but this kind of idea of growth and change and, ouch, death, uh, rebirth, maybe. They, how much, how much, basically the question is, how much, how much is the form speaking to you versus the, the tropes? Because I would argue that the form is also contributing just in more um, uh, how do you put that un imperceptible ways death <laughs> ah That is a good point. Yay, I made a good point. Um, <laughs> what's the, because I, I think, I think that what the, the main mechanism, not sure I could like articulate it perfectly in Twitch chat right now, but it is much to think about. True, true. It is hard to type this all out in real time. Um, but I think the main mechanism by which art affects emotion, which is, I mean, a hell of a statement to make right away, right? Is that the themes connect to emotional ideas that we already have. You know, it's a story about fathers. Well, if you have a father, or if you have an issue with your father, or if your father has issues, like, it's a story about a dying father. Well, if your father is dead or dying, it's gonna hit, right? But the form the story takes kind of determines how uh, well it hits. Right. If you are susceptible to the father juice, then you will respond to the father juice. But if the father juice is not injected properly, then it will not be as effective. Probably why the hero's journey is such a common trope idea. Also, please never uh, say the father juice again. Probably why the hero's journey is such an effective structure, because we all face the idea of change over time and responding to the um, the unknown 
and the challenges of the world. And we appreciate stories where personal change over time leads to a, a better ability to respond to the scary world. Hoorah! Oh, hey, Max. Thanks for the hydrate. I actually really need it. I have not been a good um, steward of my physical needs this morning. <laughs> And I know it's late. It's not morning at all for most of you. But uh, maybe maybe if you stay up late enough, it will be morning again. It's so odd to think about how we're so very on other sides of the world. I kind of love it. Um. The Corrupted Monk and the Guardian Ape. I mean, they had, they already had so many monks and monkeys in this game. I'm not surprised that they called the Guardian Ape the Guardian Ape instead of just the Guardian Monkey. Because, I mean, how many monkeys do you want? Too many monkeys. Talk about a weird little moment in uh, cultural history. Adult Swim's Too Many Cooks. Been playing games. Did you get the monkey? No, we didn't get the monkey. Uh, we switched to the monk. Got to be both of them. Just needed a little bit of uh, a reprieve. Now that was good. We you jump over the the sweeping attack. Get him with the uh, wah. He's being rather kind to me and not doing follow up attacks when I break my dance. He looked like a pain to deal with. It's not, it's not terrible. It's just, it's just that really big health pool, you know? It's just the big health pool. All right, let's take this hydrate. And I'm also gonna... Clean up a little bit. Now I know that in the speed run, he beats the corrupted monk with like cheese strats. So we could do that, but we don't really have the um, We don't really have the snap seeds to do it. But maybe we still have something like this. And if he comes at me, Just lots of damage, lots of health.
Oh. So the fistfuls of ash. It does kind of get him. kind of knock him off balance. <laughs> Not that we're going to actually defeat him with the Fistful of Ash, but see, the thing is, we need to learn how to use all the tools at our disposal. Oh, is she coming? My cat is looking at me indignantly. All right, let's throw Ash right away to break him out of this first move cycle. I guess he still does it. Oh, that's uh, unfortunate. buddy my cat is trying to get my attention buddy I'm fighting right now buddy I'm I'm dying what did you want meow 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 attention you wanted affection <laughs> you were just wondering if I would pet you oh Yes, good boy. What good boy? Trying to play this game one handed. Not the best. See, she looks normal. Kind of freaky eyes. Yeah, sorry, Oren. I'm not about to fight ghosts. This eight the ghost busters. I actually rewatched the original Ghostbusters recently. Really good movie. I mean, we talk about character development, right? There's a movie that takes a different approach to its narrative structure, right? And it's an interesting one, I would say. The narrative structure isn't about uh, you know, displaying positive uh, growth in the face of a challenge. It's about displaying, oh God. It's not about chain making positive growth in the face of a challenge. It's more about um, putting aside your negative growth in a time of great need, right? Putting aside your personal, your personal hangups in a time of great need.
I do like the the power that this ash gives me though. You do have to actually hit him with it though. Or die. I don't see my cat. <laughs> it's probably okay. Was it like the most the most uh, dangerous sound is silence when you're raising children? Mao, don't fall off the bridge. That would be silly. Fortunately, we have quite a bit of ash. I'm going to laugh when I use it all up. Not bad. All right, what's your next move, buddy? Good move. <laughs> Death, a fine choice. Wait. I'm misgendering the monk again. Remember, the the corrupted the corrupted ghost being is a she. We gotta gotta respect that. Hard to tell, but you know. Ow. Ah. Now that should have been an easy one. <laughs> but you know, when you hit the wrong button, you hit the wrong button. How much ash do I have left? 18? No, no. <laughs> I was going to stop and change something, but uh, we got to keep going now. I'm just going to add a little um, space there. Monk, eh? <laughs> Take my attacks. Missed the Makiri counterable move, but I think I think that, that honestly is better. Better to go for the ash. Right? I don't know. I'm not talking about tits anymore. I'm not talking about 
Kronk being a switch. I'm just talking about the game. That's right. This is the only channel on Twitch where you'll actually hear the streamer talking about the game. <laughs> I don't know if that's even true. Probably not, right? There are people who talk about gaming on Twitch. Is that why you're here? I don't know. But we're all video gamers. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm a gamer. Not because I have one life, but because I choose to have many. Yeah, all I have to do is, like, perfectly parry every single one of these attacks, right? Perfect. If I don't take damage, I'll obviously win. What are the causes of damage in this fight right now for me? I think the big one is... mistiming parries. Unlike the monkey fight, I don't think that there's a whole lot um, I don't think there's a whole lot of moments where I'm getting greedy with the damage. about narrative structures, but the flow of a fight structure is also as much of a thing, right? How do you make, how do you make two bosses feel different when the player's moveset doesn't change? That's one of the things that Dark Souls 2 was criticized for is the idea that too many guys with swords leads to boring gameplay. She would just do the uh, dab attack every time because apparently I can't flip and counter it or dodge it. I just constantly take damage from it. Take that. Ah, but see, I figured out the, the secret to stopping the stab attack is Ash. I didn't use the Ash there. Take that. Pretty good on the health health front. Not my health. Her health. We're getting through it. See? The best way for me to dodge the stab attack. that that
Well, I hesitate to say that this might be the run because we haven't really had a run. But you know, this could be it. Good damage. We still have a little bit of health left. We can probably take one more attack. I'm just a jumpy little ninja boy. I said one more attack, but you know how it is. You really do jinx yourself. Oh, we only have five uh, fistfuls of ash left. Which means I'm going to have to actually get good at Makiri countering again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I... My skill. Now see, that was greedy damage. That was just greed. Pure, unadulterated greed. Uh -huh. I don't know, I don't even know. I've turned down the volume so much, I don't know if you can even hear her laughing. Or if it's just all the sultry sounds of my voice and lo-fi hip-hop. Can you even hear the clash of the blades? Probably. High frequency information tends to cut through low frequency information. And that's a music lesson for you. The disrespect. I come here, what are you talking about? Hey, Peter, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, no, I can't hear a thing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> We're not going to worry about it then. Just, just, uh, Put, put this on in the background and I'll give a little play-by-play -play of the sounds that are happening. A little uh, vocal rendition of Isaac fights the corrupted monk in C minor. Swish, swash, step, clang, 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 crash, ah, oh. smack, laugh, Okay, my eyes are closed. <laughs> I'm prepared. <laughs> clang, clang. Oh, how did I dodge that? Well, maybe you should open your eyes. You're missing the uh, epic, epic dodging I'm doing. Clang. Oh. <laughs> Swesh, swash, clang, clonk, clang, raw, yo, wah, hmm. clang, clang, clank, clang, cla oh, knocked me out of my um, posture there. Ooh, wah. That's the death gong. And yet, with the power of the immortal blood, I return from death. 
I like how this game gives you two ways to die. Like you could either die and just stand up and be like, haha, call an ambulance, but not for me. Or you can be like, it's time to reset the world. It's rewind time. Ooh, spicy. Spicy. Clang, 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 death. <laughs> Ooh. So, I've been doing shorter streams, and normally Friday is the day where I can kind of do a longer stream because I don't have any pressing concerns right after stream. That said, we talked about how it's important to do a little bit every day, right? When you are under the weather, it is important to take that into account. And maybe if you do five minutes, oh my God, mist on the fistful of ash. Take that. My, ouch. Ah, ooh, ow, ooh, ow. This music is cute though. Guilty Spark by Harris Heller. Now that's a cute idea. Cause I mean like obviously 343 Guilty Spark, right? Like obviously where he got the idea for this um, piece, the title at least. But I wonder if he wrote the piece and then decided to name it that way or if he tried to make a piece based on the name. And you know, that could be a fun exercise. Death. A while back, actually I believe it was Pinch that did this on Twitter. Uh, they posted a little thing where it was 30 days of my favorite video game music. And day one was like opening screen. Day two was like menu theme, underwater level, all that sort of stuff, right? And I thought, how cool. What a cool idea is this? I should do this. When I said that, what I thought was the thing was writing that type of piece of music once a day like to me writing a little piece of video game music once a day would be really cool of course i kind of do that i don't know if you're aware but i'm a rapper yo yo Excuse me a moment. I'm sure that was delightful to listen to. I've been posting raps on Twitter. Ugh. Still sick, huh? Still sick. And they're not once a day. I don't have uh, I don't have the capacity to do it once a day. They're two times a week. But I'm still working on it every day. No more ash. Well, that was almost good. Okay, well, if we're talking about missed opportunities to do damage.
Yeah, see, with the monk... There we go. There's only really... Two windows to do damage, and that is after you dodge a deadly attack and after a jump attack, right? And the the timing windows for these is pretty straightforward. Ow. Obviously, dodging the attacks is not very straightforward. Obviously. But because the mortal blade staggers her so... You can pretty much always get in two mortal blade hits. But when you dodge the deadly attacks, you really should only go for one normal blade hit because of the follow-ups. <sighs> so normally we'd go a little bit later since it's a Friday and we'd big chillin'. But I think, I think I'm going to stop here. Like I said, when you're under the weather, it's important to take into account the limitations of your energy and if you're feeling under the energy under the weather then it's really important to uh, account for that so we're going to raid someone we haven't raided in a while we're going to Call the stream here. Let me just set up. Poor Robin. Never got to do his dame dame. Oh, I didn't do it. All right, we're gonna... Copy these in manually. But let's go raid a friend of the channel and personal inspiration. Uh, the Eldritch Grandpa, Grandpa Samuel Higgins. Um, but thank you everyone for the stream. Thank you for the raids. Dang, silly hat right at the end. Uh, let's go, let's go catch them all. Uh, my name's Isaac Anzu. I appreciate everyone who stopped by for this silly training rate training stream, and I will catch you next time. Farewell.